In this video, I'm going to replicate the test of a very popular YouTube trading strategy that has over 40,000 views at the moment. It presents itself as the best moving average multiple time frame trading, so who am I not to test this out to see if it really has a high probability to make us real money. According to the video, this strategy is a manual trading strategy that should be fit for forex, stock and cryptocurrency trading. It uses a combination of an exponential moving average, the stochastic oscillator and the detection of hidden divergences. And these hidden divergences are used to find the optimal entry points for the trades. The strategy also uses stop loss orders and also determines the targets for favorable risk reward ratios. So what are the indicators and the rules of this trading strategy? First of all, the strategy uses two EMAs, the 200 EMA to determine the overall trend direction and the 50 EMA to detect pullbacks. The stochastics indicator is used for the confirmation and it seems to use the default settings. And the 100 EMA is also mentioned in this video, but if you follow the rules of the strategy, then you will notice that it does not really have influence on the entry signals, so I did not use this indicator in my test. Now the rules to enter trades are very simple. First, we determine the overall trend direction. If the price is above the EMA 200, then only do long trades. And if the price is below the EMA 200, then only do the short trades. Then we have to watch out for the pullbacks of the price to the EMA 200 again. And here we can use the EMA 50 to determine if the price has been pulled back or dipped back to the EMA 200. Now for longs, the price should be getting above the EMA 50 again, and the stochastics should be checked to see if it has been reset and getting above the 20 line. For shorts this uh, should be reversed, so when the price is getting below the EMA 50 again, then the stochastic should be returning from overbought and getting below 80 again. And the last thing in this strategy is the detection of hidden divergences. Now the availability of the divergence should enhance the quality of the trading signal. And you can detect this hidden divergence if you see that the price of an asset uh, and its indicator, such as the stochastic here, move in opposite directions. Both they can indicate an opportunity to enter the trade at a discounted price, because they are considered a reliable way to avoid entering the trend too early. Now after the trade has been entered, then set the stop loss below the last swing low for longs, or the last swing high for shorts, and set a target of a 1 to 3. So in this case you take a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 3. Now you should be aware that the maker of the video regularly stresses out that the strategy should be profitable, but it doesn't guarantee you 100% accuracy. He also says that finding perfect signals like this are quite uncommon and that not every trade will be profitable, but the odds will be in your favor by maintaining a good risk to reward ratio. So keep these warnings in the back of your head when seeing my results later in this video. In the meantime, I want to thank you for viewing this video. And if you like what I do, then please click like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified on my future videos. All the files that I create, the strategy code, notebooks, backtest outputs and other informational blog posts on what I do are available on my Patreon site. This way you can check out my work and replicate what I do, just to be fully transparent here. If you want to enjoy discounts or other benefits on many trading related services that I personally use, like Bybit, TradingView, Linode and many others, then you can use the affiliate links that I have in the description below. Again, many thanks for your support, and now let's get back to the results I got from my backtests. Now if you know me and my channel by now, you know that I always do automatic backtests instead of manual backtests. And after writing down the rules of the trading strategy into pseudocode, I have coded this complete trading strategy into Python code for my backtesting engine, including the detection of divergences, and I also created a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 3, including the stop loss and the take profit targets. This way I can test this trading strategy on multiple cryptocurrency pairs, timeframes and over a long period of time to see if this is indeed a strategy that can be profitable. No signal will be skipped and no bias will be of influence this way when I test out the trading strategy and want to find out if it is really something that we should invest our time in. Now after coding this complete algorithm and testing it out on 50 cryptocurrency pairs on multiple timeframes and over multiple years of data, we can finally decide if this trading strategy has the potential to be profitable in the future. I tested it on multiple timeframes and in my case the 4 hour timeframe seems to give better results than the 1 hour timeframe. However, the win rate does not look very promising and also the amount of losing trades after another is too high. Psychologically, 
it would be a burden to have an average lose streak of 4 and a max of 21 trades that are not profitable. Now the drawdown seems to be acceptable and also the ratios do favor this trading strategy. They are all above 2. Also 76% of the trading pairs have positive results with this trading algorithm. If we look at the equity curve, this has a good incline but suffers sometimes from periodic drawdowns. And these drawdowns are on average 6% but again, sometimes they peak to a max of 21% or so, so keep this in mind. What's also interesting to see is that after the last bull market top, this strategy still was profitable. It was, uh, let's say, after the second peak of the bull market that the performance of this strategy started to decline. Maybe adding a second indicator that detects bull and bear markets could help, although I think that the EMA 200 should be enough. This is just a risk you'll have to take, I guess. Furthermore, if you trade this strategy manually, then you should know that 60% of trades were closed within the first 100 minutes, and the average open trade lasted almost 2 hours. So you should not walk away from your screen if you have trades open. In this chart you can again see that the strategy works with most pairs. So you don't have to be worried that you use a strategy that is optimized to work with only one pair or asset class. In this case, the creator of the video was right when he said that this strategy was fit for crypto trading too. Now the win rate distribution on the left suggests that the strategy has a relative low to moderate win rate, as most value fall below the 50% mark. However, it does show some potential with a few weeks where win rates were much higher. And on the right, you can see that the profit distribution appears to have a skew towards a few high outliers, meaning that the strategy's profitability is likely driven by a handful of very successful trades. Also, be aware that the presence of negative profits and losses, here visible in the lower whiskers, highlight inconsistency. And it may be worth focusing on mitigating the losses while preserving the strategy's ability to capitalize on profitable trades. Another noteworthy chart here is the profit factor. You can see that it is comparable with that of the 10 other best strategies. Now, I will not go over each and every plot because you can download this complete comparison sheet from my Patreon environment if you want to have a detailed overview of the performance of this strategy. The only thing what's left to see here is the position in the Total Strategy League. And it looks like that this manual trading strategy has entered the upper 50% of all the strategies that I've tested so far, which is a pretty good result, I might say. Job well done. Now the dual EMA stochastic trading strategy looks to be a logical trading approach, waiting for the pullbacks to the 200 EMA and entering a trade with the momentum in the same bullish or bearish direction gains again, confirmed with the stochastics indicator and the hidden divergence. And it is certainly a popular video on YouTube and got many positive reactions to the video. However, automatic backtest results show that overall the strategy has some important risks involved. And if I'm honest, for me, these negative aspects prevent it from being a really attractive uh, manual trading strategy. So for this moment, I consider this a study, a suggestion of the original creator to examine this idea and build further on it. And with these results, I will finish my conclusion as well. So if you like what I do, then please click the like button and subscribe to get warned about future tests that I will do. And if you have a video or idea that you would like me to investigate, then add it to the comment section. For now this is it and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!